What's going on guys? Attica from the Attica World Network and I'm here to finally bring you some gameplay of me um, Well, it's not a live stream, but you know some gameplay um, post done and it's, it's I know a lot of you guys have been asking me So I'm glad that I'm finally getting into this right now so Actually, you know what? Let me, let me do a little bit of explaining now in terms of playing this game I said there was gonna be a couple of modes I was going to upload but, I don't know, I mean, certain things didn't work out, like, there was there was this one mode that I had in mind where I'd be watching through matches, and I think I'm actually still going to do that one, but things have just been a little bit on the slow side lately. I apologize for that. Um, a couple things came up in real life, so definitely bear with me, though. But um, I'm going to be doing some more gameplay videos, because I know a lot of you dudes are saying, you know, Etika, you're only doing, like, um, tutorials and, you know, and the whole new set thing that I was doing, but, you know, you're not actually giving us gameplay, so... I figured that, you know, gameplay would be boring for you guys at this point because, you know, you've all seen the game in action, but I mean, if you really want me to see me play the game, then I'm sure. Now, I've been playing this every single day, non-stop, all the time, and of course it's been with one character and one character only, it's been Robin, but now, I've only been able to really play against the CPU because for some godforsaken reason, as a lot of you probably know, my internet prohibits me from playing this game actively online and I don't know if it's because maybe this is a Japanese 3DS and I don't know maybe it has to connect through Japan or something I don't know but it doesn't it doesn't work for me online at all because there's always some kind of input delay and I had this problem when I was um I actually battled zero you guys know of him most likely um really really prestigious guy in the Smash community and I, I had a battle with him the other day thinking that maybe because I upgraded the internet in here so I was thinking maybe due to the update I'll finally be able to play smooth against people, but uh, nah, it, it didn't didn't work out there. So I'm going online right now, and we're gonna see if I can play smooth against this guy, because there's always usually like an input delay. Like right now, um, no, I couldn't show you there, but um, there's usually like some kind of input delay always. So I try to play online with people. If I can't, I just go against level nine CPUs. Let me see how I can do it. Let me see. Yeah, there's still input delay here. Like. I, I gotta show you guys okay. So look at this. Like when I press, when I press the um, the when I press the um, shield button. Let me keep dodging this guy. When I press the shield button, it doesn't freaking come through fast enough for me. Like it always has like a split second away. See, I press it and then it comes. Let me see here. Which this guy will leave me alone. But um, press it, and then it comes. You see what I mean, right? So because of that slight input delay, it's usually not too beneficial to play online with people. So that's the main reason why I haven't really been doing versus mode videos or anything like that, because it really wouldn't work out because I can't even play like the way I normally do. So um Yeah, so it's not gonna work out there. That's why I'm probably going to only be showing you guys level 9 CPU. So that's my explanation for why I haven't really been uploading too many videos on this in terms of me actually playing the game, because you know. Who wants to watch you play against CPU players? You know, you'd rather see people go head to head, but I can't do that right now. I don't know if it's because of my internet connection or the fact that, because I see other people playing like I'm um, Zero and Shofu and they play perfectly fine, lag free, you know, no input delay or anything, but I don't, I don't understand why, but um, yeah, it hasn't been working out for me too well. So I'm gonna have to show you my skills at Robin against CPUs because that's the only thing that I can you know, play against and still have um, solid input. So let's just go into a match right now. Um, now in terms of Robin, he's been the only character that I've been playing with. So naturally, of course, I think, I mean, it's hard to say because you know, a lot of you guys would say level nine CPU isn't all that good. Personally, they aren't, but I mean, they were definitely a lot more of a learning curve due to getting used to the controls. But um, all right, we're just gonna go against a random opponent and um, I'm going to, Let's just take the fight here. And I'm just going to show you guys what I do normally. You know, I'm not going to do much talking. I'm just going to play through the game like I normally would against level 9 CPU. Oh, we got Falco. All right, let's do it. Okay, man. Okay. Here we go. Let's go. Hmm. Oh, he's gonna roll forward. There you go. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Let's go. 
Ooh, there he is. Very good. Well, damn. Used it the double jump. I can still pull it through, though. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I forgot he can do the dash. And then he goes straight into the flame. Alright. I mean, let me look at my... Uh, let me look at my actual DS screen, because... With this, I'll be able to really see it happen in real time, because it's a little bit of a... Hmm. There we go. There we go. far on this one. Yeah, no wonder why he came back. Oh! Thought I got the grab up. Mm. Oh! Wrong way! Got the 11 sword back. This dude in his damn laser. Damn it. Surprised I didn't kill. Thank you. Although that didn't really matter. Hmm. That's a good fight. Even though I did have that one that stayed, but... There we go. Alright, let's pull this one through. Mm. Come on, Falco. Hmm. No. -uh. I don't know what you were trying to do there. Mm, waited too long. No. Hmm. Get down. Get down. Let's go. All right, so now I'm gonna do some more talking. Now I don't know. I mean, it's it's a CPU it's a CPU opponent at the end of the day. But I mean, I do want to talk about some tricks with Robin that I feel definitely need to be addressed. Now I've been playing with this character a lot, and I'll tell you right now from Jump Street, it is so easy to shift focus on Robin to only his Levin Sword because the Levin Sword is a really powerful um, sword in the game. It freaking does meteor damage all the time. And it's so easy to just say, okay, Eleven Sword is obviously the main way to kill people, but um, Robin has a couple of other options. The Bronze Sword, as much as people may want to ignore it, it's actually a really viable option in KOs, and I mean in terms of offstage play. Now, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean in this next match, because, no, the Eleven Sword, I'm not even going to rely on it that much. Just watch what I mean. Watch what I mean. Just, just watch. Because... You don't need to use the Levin Sword to KO people like that. If you are good enough with the neutral attacks, you'll be able to use those to your advantage. But, obviously, I just as the max damage. But, hey, I'll, I'll pull it back through. So now, this is what I mean. The neutral A button move is actually really viable because it has properties where if you get hit with it, no matter what angle it may be, it's always going to knock you forward. And it will leave you helpless while you get knocked forward for like maybe half a second. And because of that, you can use that to um, get some really good follow-ups. Or to even KO an opponent and keep them off the stage. Now, I was trying to do it with double jump, but um, I'm probably going to have to show you guys what I mean in training mode. Because it, I, it's going to be tough to kind of set an example while I'm fighting a full opponent at the moment. This freaking fire hydrant, man. Pac-Man, what the fuck is that? Like, can someone please tell me what the fire hydrant reference is with this Pac-Man. But, alright, so now... And he waited a while. 
So it's a little bit difficult to aim, but you guys will see what I'm talking about. The neutral airs with Robin really do the trick if you need a KO. There we go. All you gotta do is hit that neutral air, and usually what I like to do is fall off. And like I said, the timing is a bit tricky, but if you manage to get a grab off the side of the stage, and then... I apologize for the SDs. I am actually training myself to not use up tilt to jump in the game anymore, and I'm using the buttons, which I've never done in my life. Like, it's we're talking about, you know, 10 plus years, well, almost 10 years of Smash Brothers, hardwired into my brain that taught me that up tilting is the way to jump. And I only tried to change it like two days ago, so I'm still really rusty when it comes, well, not rusty, but I'm still very like, new when it comes to using the X and the Y buttons to jump. It feels so awkward for me, man. It's extremely awkward, but I'm trying to get used to it. I think I'm doing a pretty damn good job considering, but um, I really want to show you how well you can use Robin's neutral airstrikes to pull things off. If only Pac-Man didn't have that stupid fire hydrant. But you guys saw it probably when I was using, um, when I was fighting Falco a few minutes ago. It's a really good tool if you manage to get them off the stage. There we go. You see, it works just like that. Now, of course, this option is somewhat limited because if you are fighting CPU opponents or, I mean, if you're fighting anybody who has really good recovery, like Rosalina or, I mean, and, and Rosalina's recovery isn't even all like that. If you're fighting somebody like Peach, I saw that this method doesn't really work out too well. But um, still, as you guys can see, it's a really great way to get somebody away from the stage, especially if they already use their double jump. If they already use their double jump by the time they get back to the stage and they get knocked horizontally, then it's pretty much a snack wrap regardless. But um, you have to make sure that you time that shit correctly. And the great thing about Robin's neutral A is the fact that it also has a backstrike. So I'm still working on the timing of hitting that backstrike correctly. But if you manage to hit that backstrike really well in there, then you can use that to really um, twist up your opponent. You can really play games with them because, you know, you can jump over them and if you time it correctly, you can hit them with the back part of the neutral A too. It's a really good move. And I wish it used the 11 sword, but you can't have 11 sword be used with that. But against big opponents like this, as usual, um, it's going to be way easier to juggle them in the air or to have options in aerial pursuit, even though King DDD is a floating target. So, you know, it probably is going to be a bit more tricky to hit him with the neutral air, but it's definitely possible. Let me see. I mean, I'm going to try to... All right. This guy keeps freaking... Oh, yeah. And you can also knock away King DDD's projectiles now, too. So, pretty cool. This dude is really irritating. <laughs> like, he keeps side dodging and then using the um, down behind. Okay, then. That's pretty easy to play around. So like I said, against flying opponents, it's more tricky to do this because Robin, he doesn't really have that good of air presence in my opinion, so you're going to find yourself SDing a lot when trying to do this, but you have to remember like who has good air recovery and who doesn't, and know how to time your strike accordingly. You see like that, it's a bit difficult playing around people who can float like Kirby's and you know DDD's included, but if it's somebody who doesn't have any like really good recovery, and yeah, you see, you also kind of put yourself in danger of getting, um, there we go, you see that, that back strike. Let's see. Like I said, I'm still working on that timing, but there we go. Oh, yeah, you see, you can also get footstool really easily there too. It's floating targets usually, though. Let me see. All right. Because, you know, even if you knock them away with that front hit, they're still going to be able to jump back. You know, I mean, that one was a close call, but... Um, that's the only problem that I find with this. Like, so fighting Princess Peach is usually really difficult for Robin because, like I said, air game isn't really all that great. I mean, he does have L-Wind, which is really cool, but it requires you to be above your opponent in order to use it effectively if you want to use that for aerial pursuits or anything like that. So, this is actually good because you guys are seeing the contrast as to where um, Robin's neutral air would be really helpful and where it kind of falls short. But against most characters, it can really, like even the odds, like this this move can really be, if you can manage to throw them off the side of the stage and then follow up with a neutral air, it can push them far enough away where, you know, they'll have to use their double jump really early or to the point where they wouldn't even be able to use their double jump, well, they already used it already and they're coming back with their up B and they're just not able to get back on. So, um, let me see, who else would this be interesting to try against? Uh, let's see this against, um, Let's see this thing on somebody like um, Captain Falcon. Yeah. 
You know, I'll go into other things a bit more specifically after this, but I really wanted to cover Robin's Neutral Air because I've been using this a lot lately, and um, in the few online matches where the latency or the input lag wasn't as bad, it's proven to be really effective because most people don't see it coming, especially since a lot of people, I mean, I, I would guess that a lot of people realize that Robin's options in the air are limited. So let me show you exactly what I'm saying, because you know, when you're playing an intense match, it's kind of tough focusing on the match, talking to you guys at the same time. So I'm going to focus on this match, and hopefully you guys can see how effective this method can be. So let's go. That footstool in there. And you really have to be careful with that back one. Although the CPU does have really good reflexes, but then again, I guess anyone can emulate that. Also, as a heads up, be careful when using Robin's Elwin because if you manage to use it and your back is facing the ledge, if you don't get quite high enough, you will whiff it totally and you'll just fall to your death. So you have to be really careful when using the Elwin. Make sure you don't use it too low, obviously, but also make sure you're facing the right way because it can be it can be a game changer if you um, are facing the opposite direction. Timing. One thing I also like doing is delayed combos with Robin. So, for example, when you're doing the um, the regular strikes with the sword, sometimes I like delaying it a little bit because if you do, you can do multiple hits with it, like um, like this. Let's see. Maybe it'd be better to show you guys this shit in training mode since playing a match doesn't exactly put you in opportunities to use exactly what you want to show off. There we go. Is that a double jump? Yeah, he uses jump. Okay. No shit, Sea Falcon. God damn. All right, fuck it. The devil of those two, I guess. Now, this is something that I've been experimenting with a bit as well too, and I, maybe I should go into training mode for this. But Robin's Elwin seems to have properties to where it can push you down. Um, now, I don't know exactly what you have to. I don't know exactly the situation you have to be in, but it does have these strange properties. It's like I've seen the Elwin push opponents down at some point, even though it's been somewhat rare. I don't know how to emulate those factors, but um. All right, let's let's choose someone else that people will most likely would use. Um, Dr. Mario has a lot of competitive viability, so let's see what he would do in this situation. Like I said, you know, you you have that option now. You you kind of know how to pursue with Robin in the air. The Eleven Sword. I used to use it a lot with air pursuits, but it's easy to see it coming. Like it's extremely obvious, and usually people can read that with no problem. I mean, it's something that I would be able to read myself. So I, I, it's good to have multiple options in the air because you can keep your opponent guessing as to what the hell you're going to follow up with. So, you know, most people wouldn't expect you to use the bronze sword considering that, you know, it's pretty damn, um, it's pretty damn viable, his leaven sword. So you gotta kinda switch your options up a little bit. So one moment maybe use the bronze sword, the next moment use the um, leaven sword for the air pursuit. And to be honest, actually, maybe it's not too good to go for the um, neutral air pursuit so early because you put yourself in somewhat a bad position if you're left under the stage. Like, if you're left in this area when you're air pursuing, then you're kind of in a bad position. Like, right, that area down there, you don't want to be there. You really don't, to be honest with you. So, don't do the air pursuits too early 
like right there, don't do those too early. You're gonna wanna wait to use those. So just get their damage up a little bit higher. And then once the grab kind of throws them in a more horizontal fashion rather than a uh, downward horizontal vertical fashion, then you wanna proceed with the neutral um, air. But for now, keep it level. Oh, missed it by its hit. This should be good. Yeah, this should be perfectly fine. Oh, he was fucked anyway. Yeah, Dr. Mario is recovery now. Now that I am. Now I'm noticing this recovery isn't even all like that. Mm. There we go. Mm. Still trying to get that timing down. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, shit, Doc. Ah, is that not good? Okay. Ah, uh -uh, Doc. There we go. There we go. So you gotta be active with it. It's not something as simple as just, you know, cookie cutter, you do it, you hammer it out, and then you're fine. Like, no, you have to actually really kind of time it correctly. Although that's the case with most aerial pursuits, but. Oh, the sword jumped in my face. In his face, rather. Woo! Uh-uh. Nope. And pursuit. There we go. That's how it works. So yeah, hopefully from that you guys can understand a bit more about Robin's um, air game. I don't know if I got my point across, but hopefully you guys saw what I was talking about. Anyways, I'll talk to you in the next video. Let me know if you like this kind. Um, I'll definitely do more if you dig it. Um, take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.